Hello everybody, welcome back to the Fish Tank. My name is Squidhead Joe. In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the Vivitar uh, Creative Series 120 LED Studio Light. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, don't get these. There's no reason to get them. If you do end up getting them, and for some reason you're trying to figure out why it doesn't connect to your phone, I'm gonna explain that later on in this video, but I wanna go ahead and put this in front of the video to preference that this video that you're about to see was taken from a roundup that I did about setting up a YouTube studio or, or you know, office gaming setup or wherever by using Walmart products. It's gonna be, that was a part one, but I wanna go ahead and take that part or wherever about this light out of the video and put it into a, uh, just a dedicated video so you guys can understand, you know, if you're just looking about this light and trying to figure it out. With that being said, um, I just want to again preference that it was a roundup that I did so the audio and the video and everything like that is going to be different than what you see right here but there is a reason for that so just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know while I got you guys here both lights are turned on purple hue max right now I am using the Elgato face cam I'm gonna go ahead and put my little settings up right here that I use so you know the ISOs and, and how the brightness and stuff is, is everything like is set up in the camera and everything or, or webcam or wherever. So if you're using the Elgato face cam or something similar to the webcam that does 1080p 60 frames per second because that's what it does and this is what it looks like. This is the kind of I guess lighting scenario it looks like. I have two ring lights. I have one right here immediately to my right and then one angled up pointing down at me to my left. Both of them are max brightness. With that being said, I'm gonna switch over to my GoPro. My GoPro, this is what it looks like. My GoPro is set up to 1440p, uh, 30 frames per second. But again, this is how it looks on GoPro. This is a max setting for, for brightness on a purple hue. I'm gonna turn both of them off. And this is the one that my brother sent me that I mentioned in the video. That's just one on max brightness. That's just one. He, he sent me a pack of two. I usually had the other one on the on the other side of wherever, but I put that in my bedroom. But the only reason why I'm not really using these uh, this one anymore or these anymore that my brother sent me is because they get hot in the office because it's a small area. And, but both of them are 60 watt, both of them are 120 LEDs. But for whatever reason, these get hotter and because they're brighter, they're actually brighter. So the reason why the Vivitars don't get hot to the touch, they get a little warm, but don't get hot to the touch because they're not bright. They're, they're not that good. That's why. And they're charging like $40 for this when you can go on Amazon and you can find a pack of four for the same amount, like the same price. Uh, for whatever reason, if you already purchased this and you want to use it, whatever, can't return it, something like that. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the issues and how to, how to get it working or wherever if you can. Um, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know this video is probably gonna be kind of long just to cover this light or wherever, but it's something that needs to be talked about. Cause I don't know what the fuck this camp company is doing. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the product that everybody probably clicked on this video for. I'm gonna probably put in the title too. So this is the Vivitar uh, Creator Series uh, Studio Light, uh, I guess you could say. Um, I have actually uh, three of them. I have where you can see this little purple hue on the corner of the video. It's, it's going into that wall wherever. That's usually for my live stream setup. Um, I have two right here. They're like 35 bucks or something like that in Walmart. When you shine them on a wall and you do a shot like this, they're good. Again, I'm not perfect with all this stuff or wherever, but you could find something like a use case scenario like this. Now, if I was to have the camera facing the other way and I had those facing out to that to that wall, the amount of uh, pour over, I guess you could say the room or wherever, um, if you had one of these, it wouldn't be strong enough. Um, my brother sent me a one, um, I forget what it's called, the actual uh, floodlight or wherever. Um, I'll probably put it on screen. It is a 60 watt. I believe these are 60 watt too, if I remember correctly. Those get hot to the touch, the ones that my brother sent me. Um, these don't really get that hot, 
they get a little warm, but they don't get that hot. With this, let me get into the meat and potatoes where a lot of people are probably wondering how to use this thing. Cause if you picked it up, you know what I'm talking about. This doesn't come with the remote. I don't know why they don't come with a, with a remote. If it's, in my opinion, it's more on the expensive side. Because again, on Amazon, or any other website, you can get a pack of like four floodlights for the same price. This thing, the app that you download or whatever from the QR code on the back does not work for every single cell phone out there. I repeat, it does not work. I'm not sure about tablets, but I know for a fact from me purchasing them and from what I've seen from comment sections, reviews and stuff like that of on YouTube and on the internet period, uh, written and video wise, um, they don't work on every cell phone. Again, mine is a Galaxy uh, A51. It does not work. Um, the person that I found the hack from or wherever had a Galaxy as well and didn't work. He said, if you have another phone and you try to download the app, it will work. Um, in his video though, that the guy did, he did not explain that if you uh, download the, the QR code one in the, on the back of the box, you will only be able to use those lights as a white light, um, meaning daylight, cool, uh, white, you know, all the, the, the different spectrums of white, but you won't be able to access the RGB. For whatever reason, the RGB is actually on another app. The only reason why I know that the RGB is on another app is because when I downloaded the app, I looked for the RGB and it wasn't there like at all, no control over the RGB at all. So when I went to the, the comment section of the app to see maybe I was missing something or I needed to update app, some, I, I don't know, something. Um, a reviewer uh, or a person actually put in the comments somewhere after scrolling forever um, that there is another app to, that you actually have to download to control the RGB. If you download that app to control the RGB, it actually controls everything on the all functions on the light. So there's no reason to actually have the the, the thing that, you know, to use on, on the QR code on the back. There's no reason for this this app or this version of the app because you can't you can't access the colors on that other other app if you actually get it to work on your phone now unfortunately that other app you can it's the same problem as the one with this one you, it only works on certain phones so the app to control all the rgb because nobody cares about the app on the back of the box the app to control all the other rgb is called shine light it looks like this it's the rgb one right there it's called shine light that's the way it looks that's the logo of it the uh, one that they tell you to download is this one called a uh, light deck and it has the vivitar you know thing or whatever on it so you would think it's like official and everything the thing about this company though if you look at their youtube that there's nothing there's no mention about the creator series of product lineups if you look at the website there's nothing there other than some old cameras that only do 720p video like gopro knockoffs uh everything like that if you look at the youtube channel all the comments uh for all videos are turned off and um obviously you can't see the like to dislike ratio and then on top of that all they put out is like drone footage and there was like three year gap between videos or something i i, I don't know um, but it's just very questionable. I don't know why it's set up that way. I don't, I, I don't know. This is meh. I would highly, highly recommend just using them as, uh, as color lights. But again, it's kind of hard for me to recommend this one because you can find floodlights that are probably cooler as far as like temperature, the touch and stuff, and won't heat up your office and everything. The, again, these don't really, but there's some other ones. And I think the um the one that i got only has a remote it doesn't have um my, the one that my brother sent me it has a remote but it doesn't have an app um on their website they've actually updated and you can have an app and and a remote and you can get different packs of them wherever like a two pack four pack and it's again you can get it for like 40 50 or wherever you get a four pack you know what i'm saying on amazon or something like that so just keep that in mind if you don't really necessarily have to get this and all the struggle and the hassle just to get it to work. Well, the one, one thing I like about these, if you can get the app to work, is that you can have them cycle through colors. Um, with these, you can pick and choose. So if I wanted these lights to turn from purple to blue to purple to blue and just keep going, or purple to red to blue to yellow and just keep going, they can do that throughout through the Shine app. 
Um, I, that's one thing I do like, but again, you might be able to find, you know, a pack of four that can have that capability. I would just uh, imagine just to look up a review for it and see if it's capable of doing something like that. I know this was kind of a long uh, section, but I really wanted to cover this. If I had to give this uh, a rating uh, out, of, out of five, I would give it probably like a 2.5 to three. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this kind of content or even a comment down below to let me know if y'all should just keep on doing videos like this i'm already thinking about doing some kind of setup video for 2022 because like i said i moved my office around and stuff like that a little bit and i want to show you guys what i use and what kind of equipment and stuff like that maybe have the link to the equipment in the description of the video something like that so hopefully that video will come around pretty soon if i can get around doing it um but with that being said if you want to talk to me you can always leave a comment down below or come by my twitch channel over at uh, twitch.tv forward slash squidhead joe um, we can have a discussion i don't have a problem stopping doing whatever i'm doing answer any questions if i can or anything like that or come up with some setup ideas or something like that and i'll see you guys over there if not then i'll see you guys in the next one take care have a squid cast today god bless you and yours and deuces everybody Thank you.